There we go. Let's do it. Do it, kiss. Do it, kiss. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's do it. Right, Giannis just, you know, what was the key to closing that game out the way you guys did? Uh, I think uh, we were able to, you know, defend in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, getting past lanes, rim out the ball, and uh, you know, we're you know going downhill, making plays, getting open threes, and all that. Are you okay? You okay. <laughs> yeah. Is this our first interview? This is her second interview. We did this last year. <laughs> okay, cool. She's got it. She's over it. She's had enough of it. She made it two questions. So she lasts longer than some NBA players. Yes. <laughs> Giannis, six threes tonight. Are you looking for that shot throughout the game, or are you simply just taking what the defense is giving you? Uh, I'm not going to say I'm looking for it. I'm just, you know, comfortable shooting it now. Uh, and, um, you know, I just try. If I'm open, I'm going to shoot it. Uh, you know, it's something that I'll be working uh, you know, the whole summer, probably. And, uh, you know, as I said, I just get more comfortable and uh, seeing someone, some go in, it feels good. So I'm going to keep shooting it, and my teammates want me to shoot it, so that's it. What's more challenging for you, uh, being on the court with five fouls late in the game or being off the court with five fouls late in the game? Uh, I think being off the court. Like, uh, you know, like... You know, in a situation like this, that we, you know, up five, you know, the game is close, I'm being able to be out there and uh, play, uh, you know, that hurts. You know, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, gotta be smart, uh, gotta use my, you know, my fouls smartly and um, don't get uh, stupid fouls. And I think uh, the way coach pulled me out and put me in the last, I think, three, four, three or four minutes was it was good. I know we've talked about those stupid fouls, whatever you want to call them, in the past. Tonight it was five off. So you didn't have any of those other ones. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do at this point on the offense? Nothing. I'm just going to keep trying to go downhill, uh, keep trying to go through guys. Uh, I'm really happy that they're offensive fouls and they're not, you know, down fouls and all that. But uh, you know, usually in the games like this that I get offensive fouls, I know that I'm aggressive. I know that I'm trying to, go, you know, get downhill and try to make plays. So you know, I'm happy with that. It seems like the ball strategy against you is just to have as many help defenders. Reach in, two arms, just pulling on your arms. Does it? Do you feel that? And uh, do you feel like you're just not getting the whistle that you're using? One, got two, got three. I'm not. I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about officiating. Obviously, you know, I, I just gotta be strong with the ball. You know, a lot of people they're gonna reach. They're gonna try to foul. Uh, they're gonna try to you know show bodies. Try to you know fall and try to get a charge and you know trip me but at the end of the day I gotta keep getting downhill, keep making plays, keep making the right play, find my you know guys, you know, in the three point line, the corners. And uh, you know, as Blade have told me in the past that, you know, if you get offensive fouls, it's okay. You know, the team wants you to be aggressive instead of, you know, uh, doing the dumb fouls. In your career it's been rare that you've let your emotions show when it comes to officiating on yeah. the court. How are you able to kind of bottle things up and hold them down? Uh, no, it, it's it's hard. Uh, it's definitely hard, but at the end of the day, you know, I gotta you know keep my composure. Uh, and definitely, I learned from the OKC game, uh, and you know, that's something that I, that's not me. You know, my whole career, I've been able to you know keep my composure, keep my emotions, and try to focus in the game, and that's what I gotta do because you know, not only the you know the crowd is watching me, my teammates are watching me. So I cannot uh, show them that I'm, you know, out of the game mentally. So I gotta, you know, stick in the game and keep playing hard so my teammate uh, you know can feel you know comfortable and confident enough to, you know, go out there also and uh, play hard. Last time you guys played the Bulls it was points <coughs> in the paint tonight, a more balanced attack between outside shots and getting close to the rim. How convincing is it to see this team win in so many different ways? It's nice. It's nice. Uh, it's gonna be nice that we're gonna score a bunch of points in the paint. And uh, we're going to live in there. There's going to be nights that we're going to make a lot of shots. And uh, it's good. That means that we, we got, uh, you know, ways, different ways to, you know, be aggressive and be a threat out there. Uh, so it's, it's good. Are you surprised to find yourself in a couple of jump ball situations with 6'3", uh, Archie Giacchino? No, actually, I was surprised. I think he's the only one from the, you know, the Bulls that's going to dive in the ball, in the floor. Uh, 
and I'm one of the guys I'm going dive in the floor. I don't, you know, I don't care. You know, so it was surprising. Like in the second one, I was thinking about it, and I was like, yeah, he always like you know diving the ball. He plays hard, and he's a really great uh, competitor. So it was surprising. At all. Not just in the fourth quarter, he did that in the first uh, quarter. It was amazing. He was a beast out there. Uh, just knowing that you have a guy like Brooke behind you, and uh, it makes the game easier. You know, he allows me to close out uh, so hard to you know market them to the shooters and all that, because I know that Brooke's going to try to contest every shot uh, in the paint, and uh, it makes the game easier for you know not not just me, all of us. And uh, he's been doing this all year, and they got to keep doing it. Definitely needed, uh, but he was also really, uh, you know, good offensively. You know, when he gets to the ball in the post, uh, you know, we got. I think we got to find him a little bit more in the post uh, because he's been like dominant down there.